Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today we're going to tie a black comet. The hook I have in the vise is a size 8. This is a 2 extra heavy nymph hook. I'm going to use uh, some black thread. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye. And we're going to come back uh, just a little less than a... I now I'm going to start out putting eyes on. For the eyes, I have bead chain eyes. We go five in one direction, five in the opposite direction, and then put several wraps underneath the eyes and above the hook shank. And then we can do that the second time. And then I'm going to bring my thread back to the rear of the hook. I'm gonna take a little bit of head cement and put a little bit of head cement between the eyes. So I'm gonna turn this over and that'll run down inside there and I won't get a big, uh, a lot of head cement on the eyes itself. We're going to take this to the rear of the hook. And we're going to stop about where it would hang at the barb. For the tail, we're going to use black bucktail. Don't need a lot of this. I'm going to take my bucktail. I'm going to pull out long hairs and short hairs. You can even put this in your hair stacker if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Pull out a couple of those wild ones. Out. This bucktail, it didn't stack perfectly like the thicker hairs, like it would with a deer hair body hair. We're going to make that uh, tail about the length of the hook shank. And I'm going to size that up. That's where I'm going to tie it in at. I'm going to trim some of this off. And I'll leave enough to go up the hook shank. Give me a little bit of depth to the body or width. And I'm going to wrap that forward. I'm just kind of pushing the thread with my finger or guiding it, and that will keep the material down and keep it from wrapping around. Now for our body, I'm going to use silver tinsel. This is silver on one side and gold on the other. This is a number 12 tinsel. I'm going to tie it in so that I can see the gold and then I will, the silver will be what's showing. And we're going to bring that back to the tail. And bring that thread forward once again. We're going to take our tinsel and we're going to wrap that forward. We want to wrap this pretty tightly. You don't want it coming apart. And you're going to overlap slightly on the tinsel. If 
if you have problems with uh, when you wrap your tinsel that you have spaces, the way to solve that would be to start at the front, go back and then forward, and you should be able to cover all your, the spaces that you might have uh, in there. I'm going to secure that. Trim off that now for the hackle. I'm going to use a black hackle. I'm going to tie that in. Just tie that in behind the eye. That stem was a little long. I just secure that. I'm going to hold the hackle up and I'm going to run my fingers down it and get all of the hackle going to one direction. And then we're going to wrap that. We're going to secure that. And remove that excess. Now I'm going to take all of the hackle, push all the hackle towards the rear. It's not always an easy thing when you have the eyes on there. I'm going to secure that, but I'm going to come back one thread width on the hackle, and that will push it towards the rear. And then I'm going to go ahead and give that a whip finish. And we'll trim off the excess. I got a couple of hackles that are sticking out towards the front. Put a little bit of head cement on there. I'm going to turn that over and put the head cement on the bottom. And here we have a black comet. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.